Hi there, Christian is here for the contour. Welcome back to our QGIS guide. For this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to utilize Locus Map application from Google Play. Particularly, how to collect data using this app and import it in QGIS. Also, I want to show this app because it's very handy and simple if you don't have a GPS unit with you plus the fact that it can store data and export it as GPX. And GPX file can be used in GIS. Second, I want to show you how to import data encoded in Excel sheet. If this is your first time to use Locus Map and you haven't downloaded it yet, go to Google Play and download it on your phone. I already installed it on my phone and currently mirroring it now on my computer so you can see it. On my left screen, you can see QGIS with ADM1 already loaded as my base map. Now if you're ready, let's start. Okay, so our first task is to collect the data using the Locus Map application. But before that, I'd like to show you a few more features of this application. When you open the app, it will show you this. Now if you go here, you can see more options like maps, search, you can check the points that you save, the tracks, and if you want to record tracks, and so on. Another good thing about this application is you can use it offline. Now let's go to maps. Here, you can pick the base map that you want to use. And if you want to download it, say OSM or OpenStreetMap and other options here, just follow the instruction here and download it for offline use. Now if you want to check the offline maps, you can check it under the offline tab. This is a nice feature of the app especially if you're working in remote areas and you don't have internet connection. Okay, to obtain the data, we need to go back to the main menu. Let's click it here and click again here and go to points. For this demonstration, I will show you only how to collect points using this app. Now let's click the plus button sign here. In this window, you can see that there are three options to add the new point. Number one, you can add the new point using your current location. Or, you can add the new point and take a photo of your current location. And number three, you can import your data points. So let's add the new point using this first option. Let's click it. Here, you will see the name of the file or the data that you will create. For the location, this app is going to obtain your current location or the coordinates of your current location. Make sure that you enable the GPS of your phone before utilizing this app. So I will use my current location for this exercise. If you click my location, you can see here the coordinates of your current location. Now let's close this. Under the description, you can add more information about your location. Now I will leave the rest of this as default and click save. To check the save points, go to my points. And you can see here the newly added point. You can click this to recheck the information. Now let's go back. Okay, to export your point, you have to click here and go to export. Here you can see the data format for this output is GPX. If you want to change the title, you can change this. If you want to change the export path, you can change it as well. Now let's rename the data as my 
locus point. Then let's use the default directory for the export file. Now let's export it and click export. Here you can see that you exported only one point and that's correct. Now let's close it. Okay, to obtain the data, you have to connect your phone to your computer. Now I have connected my phone to my computer. Open your device and go to internal shared storage. Click OK and locate the Locus folder. Now I have here the Locus folder. Let's click it and go to export folder. Now you can see here the my locus point gpx now let's copy the file to our computer click the gpx and copy and I'm going to save it to my home folder and go to the contour folder and paste it here now let's load this in QGIS now let's close this window and this window and let's maximize this. Now in order to import the GPX in QGIS, you need to enable the GPS tool. Now I have already enabled my GPS tools here. If you haven't enabled it yet, go to plugins and manage and install plugins. Wait for a few minutes. Now on the search bar, let's search the GPS tools. You can see here, I already enabled my GPS tool. If you haven't enabled it yet, click the check button here. Now let's close it. The GPS tool should be found here. Now let's click the GPS tool to import our point. Now let's select the load GPX file. And click the button here and go to the contour folder or to the folder where you save your GPX file. Now let's click my GPX file here and click open then click OK now you loaded your data point here you can see here that the point that you obtain from the locus map is already here now let's enlarge this so you can see it well let's increase the size change the color to red click OK and OK now that's the process on how to utilize locus map to collect data and import it in QGIS okay for the next task I will show you how to import data encoded in Excel sheet for example you collected data or coordinates from published reports or articles like the article that I have here you can see from this paper the coordinates for each survey site now let's zoom in this so you can see the coordinates You can see here the format of the coordinates is in degree. We need to convert this into decimal degree so QGIS can load this. Now let's use the Excel sheet converter I created for this tutorial. Download it from the link below. Let's use only the coordinates for the first side and the last side. Now let's encode it in Excel sheet. Now I have encoded the coordinates in my spreadsheet. You will notice here, under latitude and longitude, 
I encoded separately the degree, minutes, and seconds. The result of the conversion can be found here. You can see when you click this cell, you can see the formula here. Now let's zoom in this so you can see. You can see the formula here. Um, degree plus open parentheses minutes over 60 plus the seconds over 3600. And that's the same formula for longitude. Now let's copy this to a separate sheet. <clears throat> copy. Now let's create another sheet here. Okay. And paste it here as number. Let's delete this and change the label as point number latitude and longitude. Now after copying and changing the label, now go to file and save it as CSV. Now let's change the name here. Sides and make sure that you will change the format to CSV and then click save. Now, if you have a warning, just click OK and make sure that you properly save it. Now, let's load this in QGIS. After saving the CSV, go back to your QGIS. Now let's load it by going to the layer tab, add layer, and go to add delimited text layer. Let's click this. To load the CSV file, click the button here and locate your CSV file. Now I have here the sites.csv file. Click it and click open. Now you can see your data below under the sample data you can see the point latitude and your longitude data now let's assign the right x field and y field under the geometry definition now let's assign x to longitude and let's assign y to latitude now after assigning you will notice the add button here will be enabled now let's click add and close now you just imported the coordinates in QGIS you can see the sites file is already in the layers panel now let's change the size of this so you can see it right click go to properties and let's increase the size here and click OK now you have the sides here so that's the process on how to import the coordinates that you encoded in your spreadsheet I hope that you learned something from this session thank you for watching